hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to disable windows defender on your pc so without further ado let's get into it all right guys so this is on windows 10 all right so the first thing you're going to do is go to the start menu select on start go up to the gear icon here and select on settings it's going to take you to the screen right here then you select on update and security go over to windows security Go to virus and threat protection. Then go to manage settings and disable real time protection right here. You're going to get a pop up that asks you to grant permission. Just select on yes. All right. And as you can see, real time protection is off, leaving your device vulnerable. All right, so this is basically the temporary turn off because if you restart your computer, this will automatically be turned back on and you can also turn it back on from here. All right, so for the permanent solution where you can disable it and re-enable it manually without it being automatically turned on every time you restart your computer, all you need to do is scroll down and select on tamper protection and turn that off. After you turn tamper protection off, then we're gonna scroll up and close this, close this also. And we're gonna go right here and enter reg edit and open, select on yes. All right, so when you just open reg edit, it will take you to this screen right here. And the screen will look like this. Then you're going to go to H key local machine. You're going to be selecting all the down arrows from here. So select H key local machine. After you select H key local machine, you're going to go down to software and select that down arrow also scroll all the way down to policies select the down arrow then you're going to select this down arrow beside microsoft scroll all the way down and select on windows defender this time you will not be selecting the arrow beside it all right so you're going to be right here so what you need to do is right click go to new and select on d word 32 bit value and you're going to type this just the way as I do disable anti spyware all right and the D should be capital the A should be capital and the S should be capital so that's capital D for disable capital A for anti and capital S for spyware. And these should, these should all be grouped together. There should be no space. Then just click on the background, double click on anti spyware and change the value data from zero to one. Then select on okay. Next for these changes to take full effect, you're going to need to restart your computer. So just go ahead and select the start button, select the power option and select restart. All right. Now that the computer is back on, we're going to go ahead here and go to the start menu, go back up to settings and select it back to update and security. Then windows security again virus and threat protection and manage settings 
All right, so as you can see, real-time protection is off. And if you try to turn it on, if you try to turn it on, it's not turning on. No matter how many times you select it, it will not be turning on. So if you need to turn it back on, what you need to do now is close this again. Close this. Go back to the search bar. Type reg edit. All right, and select this from the top. Select on yes. Then it will take you back to the screen. But if for any reason at all, it doesn't take you back to the screen. Let me just show you how to get back to it. All right, just minimize all of these. So you're going to go ahead and select the arrow beside H key local machine right here. Then go to the arrow beside software. Go all the way down to policies. Select that arrow also. Select the one beside Microsoft. Go down to Windows Defender and you will not be selecting the arrow, just the word Windows Defender. Now you're going to right click, go to new, select on the word 32 bit value. Then you're going to type the same name again, disable anti spyware with capital D for disable, capital A for anti and capital S for spyware and save it now double click on it and ensure that this value is at zero then select on ok so now we're going to close this and restart the computer once more all right and restart the computer all right now that the computer is restarted we're going to go ahead and select on the start menu again then go up to the gear icon and select settings go over to update and security go back to windows security go to virus and threat protection select on manage settings and as you can see real-time protection is now back on and all you need to do so that this goes back to the way it was before is re-enable tamper protection. All right. So that's basically it, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more of my content, please remember to click on the links at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.